Hello everyone, today I want to share with you a bit of a mini art supply haul with just a couple of recent purchases that I've got. So the first thing that I got here was a paper pad, and this specific one is from Faber Castell. Now I have some paper pads but I was looking for kind of a more all round one. I have some that are more specifically for watercolour and things like that but I wanted one that was going to be good for a few different things. So this is about A4 size and it's 40 sheets in the one here, in the one pad. And it's got a really nice pad back to it as well. So you can use that in itself. You don't have to worry about taking something else and putting underneath. It's hard enough to just use as it is. But then it opens like that. You have all your sheets and it's quite a nice paper here. The thickness, so it's not just too flimsy. It's quite thick, not 100% like watercolour paper obviously. But it's got a nice in between. And it does say as well on it, it's ideal for graphite coloured and watercolour pencils. So that's why I thought it would be a good all around. So just to have that kind of paper pad that you can use for different mediums without worrying too much about it, it has to be something like watercolour paper. So the next thing that I wanted to get as well was some pens and kind of specifically black pens that I could use to kind of ink and draw with but also different thicknesses and shapes of the tips. So I found these. These are also Faber-Castell and these are the Pit Artist Pens in black and this is then a set of eight so I think this is the whole line of them you get they look like these they all look the same but they're just the tips are different and they have to feel like really nice pens I'll say to kind of hold and use and just seem really satisfying overall so I like the packaging on them and they also seem really nice to use when I've just tested them but you can see here you have the different range of tips so you got a really from really fine ones up to a thicker one and then it starts with a different shape but then you have three of the new ones here where it's a different shaped head and then more of like a pen so old fashioned style and then also a thicker one there so you can use it if you want to do cover a bigger area instead of using just the finer ones so I got this pack as well that I wanted to use for the inking and then I was also looking for a different kind of pen and these are the Sakura Jelly Roll pens and these all are a pack of three white ones Specifically, I was looking for something like this to kind of use mainly for doing highlights and things like that. And I, I've only heard good things about the Sakura pens, really. So I thought these would be perfect, and I found a pack of three. So they're going to last me a little while. And I'm mainly going to be using them for those highlighting areas when you're drawing something. So the next pen that I have to show you is a little bit of a different pen. And this is a Copic Sketch Marker pen. So this is, as you can see, it's not a colour, so this is the clear one, so this is just pure alcohol inside of it. So what I wanted to do with this, the reason that I got this was that I wanted to use this to help blend my coloured pencils. And it does really work very well, I've tried it already. So on the sketch Copic marker here, you get that one end, and then the other end, it's more like a brush, and that's the one where I've tried. So I found actually it does work really well. Obviously I'm going to use the coloured pencil as well, just blending with each other. But this is a different way as well, you can blend them together and it does seem to work really nicely. And then another thing I got as well, with the intention of using to blend my coloured pencils, was these different blending pencils. So we got the actual blender pencils there and then the burnisher ones. These came in the same pack, so they're all together. And these are by Derwent, so they seem to be the only ones I could really find properly. So there's no colour in them whatsoever, these are purely meant for blending. So I'm really just looking for other ways, other than obviously just using the colour pencils themselves to blend with, I do that as well anyway. But I'm using for some other ways alongside that to be able to blend them in a different way and be able to incorporate other kinds of products into that as well. So be able to work a little bit differently with some different materials. And then again, also for my colour pencils, but this time for the watercolour pencils that I have, I got some things for those as well. So I got some actual water brush pens here. So this is again a set of three, where, these are by Pentel by the way, so you just put water inside of the actual pen here, and then you have a brush on the end that you can then use over your watercolour pencils. So that's the thick one, then there's a medium size on the brush, and then you have a fine one at the end here. So that's why I thought it would be really handy to basically get the three pack. So I'm not limited by the thickness of the actual brush on it. But I have all three thicknesses there. So I got those in a pack. But then also I got another one of them. 
This was just from somewhere that had a clearance sale going. So I thought why not just pop it in. So it was really cheap. You can never really have too many of these kind of things. Same thing, you just put in some water. And then you have a nice fine brush tip there at the end. And this one's quite fine as well. But like I said, this was on clearance so I thought why not. So I have a few of these water brush pens to last me and to use for my watercolour pencils. And then next up here, these are also meant for blending, but just something a bit different. I just got a basic set of some paper stumps here, just mainly to blend out pencil and that when I want to do some pencil drawings, just so I have them because they just come in quite handy. And again, just a range of different sizes there could be really handy for some fine ones, and then the thicker one if you want to cover a larger area as well. Another basic thing that I got was a pencil sharpener here, because obviously we all probably have basic pencil sharpeners. But I wanted to get one that was a little bit better in a sense because I recently got some colouring pencils from Faber-Castell as well and I read quite a lot of people reviews on that saying that using not very good quality or basic pencil sharpeners wasn't that good on them and people were rec actually recommending this one from Faber-Castell obviously you would think that makes sense that they would make it for themselves and it would work nicely but people were really praising this so I thought I just wanted to get this as well, just so I knew I had it, just, I didn't want to use a cheap one and then end up maybe damaging my coloured pencils. So I actually do really quite like this, it's quite handy, and you can obviously use loads of different sizes and for coloured pencils in there as well, and then you just open it on the back if you want to empty it. So then that should last me and be able to use this mainly for my coloured pencils so I don't damage them. And then the final basic thing that I also got was some erasers. Now obviously I still I have some erasers already but I wanted some other kinds so I got a few different ones here. I wanted an electric one because first of all it can get usually more detail because it's quite a fine tip and it just seems to sometimes be more efficient because instead of having to use the friction and rub out like that because it's this vibration it gives you can just place it right where you want it to take off whether it's pencil or colour and it'll only take it off right at that tip so that's why I thought it would be quite a bit more precise in that sense than using a normal eraser and it just came with more refillable ones there. So that's kind of handy to have and then also I got a kneadable eraser so it looks like this and you can squish it and mould it. Now I've never used one of these before but I just saw it and then started reading about it and it actually sounded like a pretty good extra thing to have as well. It could be quite handy especially when doing some pencil. So I got that, just in case, I wanted to experiment a little bit with some new ones as well. So basic erasers will obviously work fine, I just wanted to try something like this out as well. So these are just some of the few recent art supplies that I've been getting. So just a few goodies here to start playing around with a bit more. So I really hope you enjoyed this little haul, and thank you very much for watching.